Hey guys, what's up? It's Michael here. The video is back. I am, I've been on tour, been in an RV, haven't been able to film. I'm here for, well, I think I'm only here for two days. But uh, for the rest of the fall, I'll be in and out a few days here, four or five days on the road, two or three days at home, that kind of thing, um, minus travel days. So you'll be seeing video in and out. I don't know how often we will get to do this, have this interaction. But, so today's video, started out because I was sniping this Dragonite, this huge Dragonite. I believe it was an IV-90. Okay, so there's this new snipe, new snipe, new site that Poke Snipers is working on, um, but it's like a paid site, but you can still kind of see what they got going on over there. Um, there's a feed, I'll make a video on this later, but basically, they're showing the IVs again of the Pokemon, and but what I found so far is it's not that accurate, so it'll say like, a 93 Dragonite over here, and then like one minute later it'll have the exact same coordinates and say an 89 Dragonite is here. And it's based off of kind of like actual people going and catching them and then reporting it. So I could see how it's very, it would be very easy for people to make up the IVs, but they've been pretty close to what I found except for one, there was a Flareon that was like a 100 and I caught it and it was like a 70 or something. But, so this one said it was a 90, a 90 IV, and I believe it was because it was hugely beefy, as you can see here. It was a 2369 Dragonite, so that's huge. I think it would have been a 90 IV had I caught it and maxed it out, but, the, okay, back to the point of this video. So I wasted all of my Ultra Balls. I'm very low now, not all of them, but, like, a lot of them. Um, so I wanted to make a video on how I go and get Ultra Balls, the easiest way to do that, and, uh, okay. So this video is going to be how to get as many Ultra Balls as fast as possible, how I do that. Um, okay, so before we get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos. So basically the way this works, um, it's not like a hack where you can just type in a code and you've got tons of Ultra Balls, obviously you would get banned if you did something like that very quickly, I would assume, but you want, so obviously you get balls from Pokestops, so I went to this location which has the most Pokestops of anywhere by far, like they are everywhere, just check this out, look at this, Pokestops everywhere, look at, just look at that corner over there, look over here, look over there, I mean everywhere you look there are a zillion Pokestops, so this is where I come. And it's actually, oh, let me go, I'll give you the coordinates right now. Because this is the same, um, the same location that Tutu app actually spawns you when you first get it. It's like the home location of the Tutu app and all those hacked Chinese apps. I'm assuming that's why they put this as the home location because it's got so many Pokestops, tons of lures. I mean, this is a great location in general. It's right by Pier 39. Pier 39 is a little bit northeast, like a little bit. You can just walk right up to Pier 39 from here. Uh, it's going to take a while to load now. So this is in San Francisco. You have the thing where you have the tracking system that works. Um, because it's in San Francisco where you can just click on the Pokemon on your little map and it'll show you where it is. You've got tons of Pokestops, always lures, and you can walk up to Pier 39 if you want to catch Dratinis or anything. It's a, just probably the best location in the game that I've ever found. This is why you guys know I'm always going to Pier 39. This is the exact same area. Tons of Pokestops. So... What we want to do, well, I'm trying to show you, I guess I'll just show you the coordinates. Whoops, didn't mean to copy those. But you can see on the bottom right if you have your Tutu app, which I'm assuming most of you will be walking around with this app anyway, which is unfortunate because it's way less effective than walking with the Pokemon Go Plus Plus app that I'm using. Um, but bottom right corner you see there, I'll put them up bigger on the screen. Those are the coordinates if you want to teleport here. And I think this is like some mall or something in San Francisco. Anyway, that app has been taking forever to load this morning. I had to go um, like on and off of Wi-Fi and then randomly it'll be like, hey, it's here. So if your Tutu app is having problems, just go on and off of your Wi-Fi if you're on it. If not, I don't know. It's just being really slow today. Uh, I did snipe with it. That's how I got to that Dragonite. So it is working. It's just much slower than normal. For me at least. Who knows? Maybe it's just my internet. Well, no. This one's taking a while. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there's a coughing. So like I said... Coughings, grimers, all that stuff, because there's always lures here, great spot. Uh, okay, so what do we do? First, the very first thing you do is you go and you trash anything that is not balls. Unless you really, really need these, but these are pretty easy to get. I don't need super potions. Maybe I'll leave myself some hyper potions, but I'd like to sell a lot of them. If you just hold the plus sign, it goes a lot faster. Let's see, 58, that's okay. Maybe even less than that, really. 
Ah, oh, let's just do that many. Revise, Blech, don't need those. Darn it. Sometimes this app can be tricky to click on the bottom right area. Lucky eggs, incense. Okay, Pokeballs, we're gonna sell all of those. I don't want any of those. And if you ever need them, you can get them super fast. I mean, we're gonna collect tons of them anyway. I'm just gonna keep selling them, so. Raspberries, I'll keep a few of those, I guess. So, you know, the whole point is go around as fast as you can, click the stops, spin them, and anytime, you know, every couple minutes or so, just do this again, trash everything that's not great or ultra balls. Um, that's pretty much it. You just wanna make sure you have plenty of space plenty of space let's go ahead and fake our location so i can start walking around here oh, there it is hard to click okay which direction should i head it doesn't matter also this is really good for leveling up if you drop a lucky egg here and just go check these poke stops because there's so many of them you can hit them like so fast you get tons of xp doing that i'm not going to do that today because i'm going to be stopping to sell uh the balls and stuff i don't want to waste it and waste my lucky egg um well, this guy is not walking right now. Walk, you guy. I'm just going to restart the app because it seems to be pretty buggy right now. And get my coffee. There we go. That was all it was. Needed a little restart. So let's get rid of this joystick because I don't like that thing. Zoom out. Uh, I want to head south because it looks like there's more. But heading north, I can see where I'm going. Because the in order to tap to walk, this has to be facing north. So I'll just go north, whatever. It's not that big of a difference. We're just going to be checking stops. I should probably set him to go a little faster than this. Boom. Two stops in. Wait, we not get any greats or ultras yet? You know what I should do? Still none. I wonder what the odds are of great and ultra balls, or if it's like pretty random. Still Pokeballs. You know what, now that I think about it, I thought about this last time I did this. Whoa, I'm way close to the camera. I think when you actually have more Pokeballs, they show up less. This is just my theory that I thought about that I just forgot about until just now after I sold them all. But I think once you have lots of them, then greats and ultras start showing up more. So, it's worth testing. If you're going to start this, maybe keep all the Pokeballs you have. Yeah, because see, look, now it's it's like it's trying to fill me up with Pokeballs first. Look, more. Darn it, I thought about that last time I did this too, and I was going to test it, and it's been so long I totally forgot. Okay, so, step one. Hey, there's two greats. That's what I'm talking about. Let's give me some Ultras. i got to set this guy to walk a little faster. You walk faster. There's another great. Look at us rocketing along. Rocketing along. Let's do we're on a bike. I could be on a bike. Look at me biking around. Yeah, now we're biking. So basically, if we keep going north, we'll eventually hit the water, and then we'll just make our way all the way back down. I mean, we'll hit the water in a while. We're going to have a ton of stops between now and then, but that's what will happen. One great ball. Also, make sure to sell all those potions. You get so many potions. I wish there was a way to just turn off potions. No more potions. There's a max potion, I'll keep that one. I think at level 25 you start getting max potions. There's a couple of greats. Oh, regulars. Maybe I'll keep like a hundred regulars. No, that's too many. Spin! There is two greats. Put another stop right there. Look how many stops there are, guys. It's just insane. Whoa, did I just teleport somewhere? Spin, spin, spin. More regulars. Man, my phone is getting really hot. It's been doing that lately. Ah, two ultras! That's what I'm talking about. It took me that long to get two? More regulars. Well, uh, ooh, there's that little park with a bunch of stops over here. What do we got here, park? 
So, as I said, you can do this with any app. If you have Tutu app, you're not going to be going as fast as I am because the D-pad is not as good and it tends to be a little laggier. And this is just way faster. So, you should get Pokemon Go++. Plus Plus. And I teleport on it using my Mac, using Xcode. If you don't know how to do that and you have a Mac, you can look in the description. I made a video on that. You can also do it on PC if you just Google a little bit. You just have to figure out how to get OS X onto your computer. It's very easy. Just search VMware. It's a virtual machine. And the way that works is it basically creates a little, like, part of your computer that pretends to be a Mac. No, that sounds too complicated. It just puts OS X on your computer and you can boot as either a Mac or a PC. So all you would do is boot as a Mac and then follow all the steps in the video after that. It's really not that hard. You just need VMware and you need a copy of um, OS X, which is very easy to find if you just Google. I don't even think I'm allowed to provide you with that link because that would probably be breaking some terms of service. Okay, good, the camera's still on me. I always, like, go real low or something like this. <laughs> okay, I haven't been paying attention. Have we gotten any more Ultra Balls? This is definitely a tedious way. I mean, it's the only way to do it, but it is very tedious. It takes lots of time and clicking. Ah, uh, look at all those Poke Balls that I'm just gonna sell. Speaking of sell, have you guys played that Dragon Ball Z game that I have on my, um... My screen here that I, always shows up and people always ask me if I play it or if I'm going to make a video on it. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's D-O-K-K-A-N. Is that Dokan? Dokan? I don't know. Uh, we're getting low on stops. We're hitting the water, so we're going to go up Pier 39. We're way down here. I think we're at around like Pier maybe 15 or something. Then we're going to run all the way up to 39. I mean, we're just, we have no real direction. We're just going to keep going until we get as many balls as we would like. And we can go snipe some stuff, because today I was going to make a video just going and sniping things. Then after that Dragonite took all my Ultra Balls, I was like, I can't make a video because I'll run out first thing I find. Also, if you're sniping Dragonites now, they have become so much more difficult to get. Like, they run more, they just they take so many more balls than they used to, I think. Well, really, it seems like every update for like the last three has made it a little harder, a little harder, a little harder. There's an Ultra Ball. Okay guys, I'm not gonna make you watch this forever, I promise. I just wanna wait till this bag gets full so we can see. Oh, come on, too far, I was like so close. Oh, another thing, if you didn't see yet, check this out, when you click on Pokemon with this app, at the top, boom, it tells you their stats, so you can know what their IV is going to be. That's insane! Uh, if you don't have this and you want to get it, I made a video on it yesterday. It's down in the description. Run! Um, down in the description is the Pokemon Go Plus Plus app. I believe I've updated the link now, so it should be new. Should we go up? Yeah, let's go up. What was I talking about? This app is great. Getting Ultra Balls other things look at that it's like i'm really there i can see the images let's skip that one it's too far stick to the clusters i don't even know if i'm gonna go all the way out to that pier yeah i guess it's not that far it's got a few also guys always be telling me what kind of videos you want to see what you like i know people have been saying they like the sniping videos which is why i was going to go sniping today and then i ran out of balls the good news is once you do this i mean you can get several hundred um great balls at least in not that much time ultra balls takes probably like three or four times as long as great balls that's my guess. If you end up with like 300 Ultra Balls, you will hopefully have, ooh, no, maybe, I was gonna say 100. Wait, no, Great Balls. If you have like, let's say 400 Great Balls, then you should have, let's say, 150 Ultra Balls, somewhere around there. That's my guess. Could be totally off, ah, I missed those two stops, but I don't care. It's too late now, I'm riding my bike and I'm out of here. Okay, you know what, this video is going on way too long, I just realized, so I'm not gonna make you keep watching. 
maybe, well, in the next video probably, because I'm going to go and do this for a while. So next video I post, I'll probably show you and be like, hey, look how many I got. And it took me this long, so you guys can know exactly how long it takes. All right, let me get this last little cluster up in this park, and then I'm going to just see how many I've gotten. But they're mostly Pokeballs right now, and that's very annoying. Very annoying. So once I get these, I'll hopefully be making a sniping video. What is that little fire guy on the right? I hate that the pictures aren't there anymore. Let's just see what he is. Where'd you go, guy? Hey, there's an Oddish. Those, everyone always needs Oddish. Where's that red thing? Red thing. Whoa! I've never been here! This is new? Favorite Pokemon? Common? Can you filter or what? Whoa! You can filter! Okay, let me turn these all off. That is awesome! I was always like... I don't want to see all these terrible ones, but, well, I guess if you're farming something, this could be great. No, when I'm farming, I like everything to pop up. You can put your stops on the map. Okay, this is cool. I'm going to mess with this later, though, because I'm in the middle of a video. What was this fire guy, though? I need uh, Machop? Why'd they put him in red? What are you doing? The oddish dancing around. Okay. Couple more stops right here in this area. Just this last one. I'll just do this. I know this video is probably like 20 minutes. Oh yeah, I got some great balls. That's gonna look good for my numbers here. Um, oh shoot, I don't know what I started at. Oh well, got a bunch of nonsense. A bunch of nonsense. Uh, 127 pokeballs, 30 ultra balls, 47 great balls. I don't remember what we started out at. You'll have to watch the beginning of the video. But we are definitely making progress, and I'm going to go do this for a while. I'm just going to sit around, probably going to put the TV on and just do it while I'm, while I'm watching TV. And I'll let you know in the next video how many I got, how long it took, and that's going to be it. This is how I get all my ultra and great balls right here in this area. Also, you're getting tons of XP while you're doing it. If you want, throw on a lucky egg. You'll get a bunch of XP doing that. I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and throw on a lucky egg. I should have done that in the beginning of this video, but you'll get a ton of XP spinning those stops while you're running around. Um, what else am I saying? Probably nothing useful. So that's going to be it, guys. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.